yeah, my name is John Laws. I'm Studio Art Director at Frontier. And uh, yeah, focusing on um, uh, Planet Coaster. And that's what I want to show you today. Uh, so yeah, what we've got here is, it's the build heading up to Alpha 2. So there's some wonderful things in here and it's uh, always improving. So what I want to show you is some of the new features. There's lots of great improvements on the path thing, for example, that we had before uh, in Alpha 1. But I'm going to take you all through the game as we have it. So let's say that this park is a this is a good park because it's a kind of fledgling park, but you can see that over here there's area to, to move into. Unfortunately, you can see that this path has nowhere to go. I could, I could string it over the top, but I really want to create a tunnel. So I'm going to use this to show you some of the uh, unrivaled tools for for uh, sculpting landscapes. So first of all, the one the one thing I want straight away is I'm going to I'm going to put a foundation down for this part. So I'm going to flatten all the ground out around here, and that's going to just cut through that tunnel for me. Now you can you can make brushes bigger and smaller using keyboard shortcuts. What, uh, uh, what's lovely about all this is actually it's a little bit like some packages that you may have used, which are brushes. You know, we kind of looked at popular painting packages and things, so people can feel that uh, there's a definite tie into certain certain packages. So you can see I've kind of punched through that landscape. It's awesome, um, and now I can run a little path through there. Because the paths we've worked on a lot in this, uh, which is great. So we've made actually joining and stuff far, far easier. And we've also made it so you can create um, really lovely paths, which are suddenly quite quite different from before. So on this side, I might make it more like a kind of country path. So I'm going to use our more naked, a more naked path. So you see it's kind of, uh, it's like the people will be walking on the ground. Uh, I believe that before you couldn't actually make curving paths quite like this, so that's new, correct? Like you, you can, no more right angles. You can actually create a full. So curve. you can make you can make curving paths. So you can you can make it wobble all over the place. Um, but and also the way that we did it is that simply by turning angle snap on, you could actually make you know really good geometric shapes. But what was missing before was that you, if you wanted to elevate the path, it would always go in a straight line. So you'd run into that situation there. Um, but what I'm going to do now is show a really beautiful thing. Um, so you've got these great path options. So now I can put on curved elevation. Um, and if I go up again, now I can actually make a gentle slope, which is curving. So you can make these really elegant looking paths. And it's not just um, slopes that come down one. I can go over here and then go up again one more. And now it's uh, a spiral staircase going all the way up. Yeah, so I can make these really quite exciting elevated pathways, which will always look, which will keep that lovely curvy look. The absolute, the fantastic link up with the tools, I think, is 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 how. So I've, I've created this, this this shape through here, but there's no there's no clear and obvious reason for me to have done that. You know, elevate this path. So what I might have done um, is I might be planning, shall we say, to take uh, the terrain tools that I've just been showing there. And I'm now going to build this the, the train up. I'm going to use a really a really fantastic feature, uh, which is something that respects the landscape that you've that you've already been building. So let's take that and whack the intensity up through the roof, and this will drag that up. Now you can see instantly that's actually really respecting the ground or the the path layout that you put down. So that remains true and solid, and this is slowly heading up towards uh, the path above you. Yeah. So let's say that I wanted to eventually get to the path and then my idea is I want to uh, build a plateau of land out here um, and then try and track people out. So I can build my, my little foundation tool brush and suddenly, hey presto, and in within you know, seconds we've kind of got this. Um, I've created a section whereby I can go up here and then start building out, like I could go and put down a, uh, I don't know, a lovely Let's, let's pick a toilet because it's a nice box. It's a long way to go for the loo, but um, nonetheless, it's an important thing. So there you go, it's also, it's also connecting. And uh, it's doing, it's, so it's, it's improving upon everything we had before, but offering such a, a, a huge amount of potential that you just, you know, it's, it, you just didn't have this. And you, and you won't have it, I don't, I, I don't know how else you would get this. I mean, that's a really beautiful, lovely sweeping curb. Pretty tiring. I, I might put a break halfway up there eventually, but it's it's a pretty cool thing. But what you can also do is, is let's say um, uh, you built that and you think actually I don't 
like that. Everything is editable. I mean, the lovely thing about Planet, about Planet Coaster is everything, um, and this is something you never had before, is I can go in and just simply change uh, the path textures uh, to make it feel maybe it feels more natural than it than it did before, and I can do that for the entire um, set. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The community have done amazing things with the themes that we've got in the game um, currently. You know, they've they've taken effectively two, two themes that we had, and then uh, created between pirates uh, between using a pirate theme and a uh, and a super contemporary white uh, architectural theme. They've generated kind of beautiful Swiss villas, and then. You know everything from that to uh, I, I believe the most recent one I've seen, which is uh, awesome, was a, 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 a complete model, very large, almost the size of a park of the um, of an Imperial Star Destroyer from Star Wars. <laughs> so that was that was that was breathtaking. That was a, a, a fantastic piece of work. You know the idea that they could then go in and pretty much sculpt and paint, uh, you know, Jakku around the outside of it is pretty pretty intense. I think. So yeah, we've we've, we've delivered an all, we've, we've just built so much more. On top of the the kind of creativity tools that you had before, but and it, and it does all come back to keeping the keeping your park um, entertaining for for the for the uh, guests. But also, I mean, the great thing about something like this, the the, the terrain tools we're given, is actually you can uh, make your park occupy that ever smaller smaller space. Lots of real world um, designers of of theme parks, you know, try and make the space very optimal. So you know, you can see around here, it's. Uh, it's very dense. You know, the whole point of it is dense. So that's great. In one respect, your people don't get um, tired so quickly. Um, but another way, if I can, if I can sculpt the land, you know, as you're seeing in a lot of new theme parks, you know, the, where they're doing far more uh, land uh, landscaping, you know, quite extreme landscape in the case of, say, um, Tokyo Disney, Tokyo Sea Disney, Disney. I can never say it right. <laughs> um, when you when you look at what they're doing, they're doing some amazing earthworks. Um, to build their parks. Yeah. So the game has always been built on the idea of following the individual, if you like, or, or, or caring about the individual. So each one of these people, I'm now tracking her so I can kind of walk along with her, but we've, we've really kind of gone big with the, with the camera options. So I can, I, can, I can see what it's like being uh, Aura, Aurora, and look around my park, um, get a first uh, kind of feature eye view of the park. She's going to go on a ride and get in that queue. I might, I might follow someone else. That's great. She's, she's earning money. Um, but if I go over to this section, this is a great way of seeing how following people through the park not only tells you how pretty your park is, it also you can see with this guy here, it tells you that your simulation is actually well, really well adjusted. And you can see that, so there's a hat there. That's a merchandised hat. You can see that your hat shop here is actually doing really quite well um, because I can see so many. I can get a pirate hat. I can see the baseball hats from um, Planet Coasters theme. So I'm getting a sense of how the simulation is supporting the, the game. And that's all without me checking a graph or anything else. Everything you see in here, I mean, this is a very modern looking park. It uses the Planet Coaster style. It's not mixed anything, but everything you see is, is a sum of its parts. But, so let's say I really love that building there. And in my new, in my new area up there, I wanted to uh, put that in, uh, I wanted to use that. I can duplicate that section and then bring it over here and actually expand the park um, however I want to. Yeah? So I could drop that down anywhere I want to. But not only is that, uh, so that building in itself is, is the sum of lots of individual parts. So I can go in here and just drag that out of the way and pick a section. I can change it. So all this, all this area around here is open to editing. Um, it's, it's not a pre-baked building. I can get rid of that pretty easily. I can change it just as quickly. Um, we're going to here and pick maybe, oh, I might pick uh, that one instead. And snap it in there if I don't want to. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nice actually. I think it's better than it was before. Yeah. A bit cooler. Um, but yeah, so, so everything can be changed. Everything is, is entirely open to customization for the player. There is, there is, if you like, nothing set in stone. Now, clearly you can, if you like a building or if you like something that someone else has built, eventually you'll be able to share a blueprint. You'll just grab that blueprint. Because if you're a manager, you don't necessarily want to always create. But the fantastic thing is that like, if you happen to like, you know, this, this entrance here, you could take what I've, what I've made with the entrance there, um, bring it into your own park, and then start deleting stuff and, and change it uh, to being whatever you want it to be. 
So you might actually want it so that you know uh, that you only have blue sections there, and then do something completely different with the decorations. You might want to take it into a very dark place, uh, which would just be wrong. So Alpha Two that this is heading towards is out on the 24th and it builds in a way that I think it builds in such a way that you can make anything really that your imagination even at this stage um, can kind of think of the train tools you won't you just simply won't find better I don't think I mean I can I can hand on heart say that because there's so much freedom you know we kind of built Mount Rushmore we built crazy 400 foot high trees um, that are all in the builds and we've built but more importantly we've built actually really quite exciting interesting parks which feel real I mean you, you can't you won't get this from anything else out there and you won't be able to I don't get the the, the sheer level of customization Alpha 2 uh, with all the with, with the fantastic tools for uh, train building that's all out on May 24 the actual game at end of the year without a doubt it's the it's the PC game this year